Okay, for this last little bonus uh, play-along track, it's uh, kind of similar in feel to Cry For You, one of, my, one of my older ballads. It's in D minor, but this one goes through a, a few different chord changes where it's primarily centered around the B-flat minor to B-flat major, that classic minor to flat six major. So it does that twice, and then it goes to G minor to E-flat major seven, back to G minor. Now we're gonna do a minor two, a minor two five back in D. So it's an E minor seven flat five to A seven. And that leads us back to D minor. So some really, you know, further interesting melodic possibilities here because of the, the chord changes. So you're all in D minor, those first first four chords, right? Then you're in G minor, basically, because it's G minor and the flat six major of that key. G minor again, but then we get back into D minor territory because this is the, the two chord from D minor from the A harmonic, I mean the D harmonic minor harmony. But let's talk about the chord tones of a minor seven flat five. It's E, G, B flat, D. And that D wants to resolve to that third of that A7 chord. I always love that sound, that dominant chord, a fifth above a, a minor chord, resolving to that minor chord. So all those possibilities are here. Um, plug in all those ideas we've been talking about. Have fun with this backing track, and I'll give it a spin here myself and see what happens. <laughs> 